ranking all Elden Ring bosses worst to best part two. At number 30, we have the Red Wolf of Radagon. This fight isn't really that bad. I'm just not a huge fan of bosses that can jump all the way across the arena. It felt like they tried to recreate the magic of Sif from Dark Souls 1 paired with the aggression of the newer games, but it just didn't quite hit the same way. Number 29 is the Godskin Duo. Surprised it made it this far? Yeah, me too. Another reskin gank boss in Elden Ring, but this time it's a requirement to progress in the game. The only reason it isn't lower is because while it does feel like artificial difficulty, I do like the Godskin Noble and Apostle separately, and I think the fight is fun if you use a summon. Number 28 is Magma Worm Makar. I think this boss is really cool, but the lava makes it difficult if you're a melee player. In addition, he kind of just runs back and forth across the arena for the most part, and it's a bit of a pain to chase him down. That being said, I don't think he's a bad boss, and I definitely enjoyed the fight.